Welcome to the 1970s Gladiator Round Tournament. Lou Ferrigno versus Roy Callender. And this is a second round matchup. Both of these guys already were successful in two matches. So this is the best of the best. I have to admit, Lou Ferrigno is just too much for Roy Callender here in this front relaxed position. But I'm smarter than that. This was never a great pose for poor little Roy. But he can open up and display some extra good poses. I am sure about that. Now, how they compare against Lou Ferrigno, we will soon see. But as of now, one nothing for Big Louie. Here in the front double bicep pose, and this one could really go either way. I mean, nobody in the world is as big as giant Big Lou. Look at the size of that big beast. But Roy Callender battles back here with that nice vacuum. And just look how complete Roy Callender's arms were. Fantastic. I'm going to lean just slightly towards Roy Callender. I don't know, it's, it could go either way, like I said, but leaning on the more aesthetic side with that vacuum. Lou Fregno, though, it's just a tight battle, one to one. Roy Callender takes the lead here with this front lat spread. Oh, yes, this is debatable. Roy Callender's not hitting this front-on shot. You can't really see that silhouette, but I bet dollars to donuts that if you could see that silhouette of Roy Callender, those big lats would be dominating over Lou. Now, don't get me wrong, Lou looks fantastic in this front lat spread. Little tiny waist for a big giant man. Big booming Dorian-esque lat spread. But I think Roy Callender just gets the slight edge here. And if you will, take a look at these two side chests. Two of the best in the business. Wow. I'm leaning slightly towards Lou Ferrigno. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there thinking that Lou's destroying Roy. Well, he's not. Roy's battling there. He's a lot smaller. But look at the shape of those pecs and those arms. And last but not least, Calendar is scoring a slight edge in those legs. Like I said, Lou Ferrigno, look at the size of those packs. Massive. And I did say this is a slight edge here. This is actually a very close little contest in the side chest. Roy Callender, outstanding. This is a very unflattering picture of poor Lou Ferrigno. I'm sure he can hit a far better lat, rear lat spread than this one. But it was honestly very difficult to find a good picture of his rear lat spread. Now, I was able to take a screenshot from the movie Pumping Iron. If you haven't seen it, I, I recommend it. Not a bad film. But as I said, I don't use screenshots. And this is the only picture of a rear lat spread. Terrible, terrible. But I think that Roy Callender would be dominating this anyway. This rear lat spread of Roy Callender's is so far ahead of its time. Unreal. I think this could maybe even beat uh, Lee Haney's. Who knows? Wow, what a good rear lat spread. Roy Callender takes a, a decent point here. It's plain to see here in the rear double bicep pose, and Lou does have a fantastic back development. I think he's taking a slight edge in this one. It is definitely a good comparison here, but you look at the trap development, and Lou has a fantastic set of traps. Wow. I will say there is a case for Roy Callender winning this as well. Look at those arms. This is a little bit later on Lou, Big Louie's career, and his, his arms dwindled away, perhaps. A little bit more on the right bicep and tricep. But, like I said, Lou gets a little bit of an edge here. Superior back development, I think. And poor Roy Callender... Falls victim to Lou Ferrigno's most muscular, as anybody else would. Look at this fantastic pose for Big Louie. Nobody else fills it out quite like him. And he's a giant, my word. Just dwarfs anybody else. I give Roy Callender props here. He has a fantastic most muscular. But, I mean, this is Lou Ferrigno. This is his pose. And now it has come down to the final pose, the ab and thigh. This was a tight competition. Roy Callender is losing this final pose just slightly as far as the thigh is concerned. And it is very close. Lou has some big massive legs, though, I will say. Ditto Roy Callender. 
Lou wins this because of his ab development. Strangely enough, he is a big, giant horse of a man, but look at those abs and obliques. Very sharp conditioning. So Lou Ferrigno takes this one, but I have to give Roy Callender props here. He is one of the, the best men in this whole tournament. Of course, at the end of the day, there has to be one winner and one loser. And Lou Ferrigno whoop, advances to the semifinals. Ooh, Robbie Robinson versus Big Louie. What an excellent matchup, but we'll have to wait. The next matchup features Arnold Schwarzenegger versus Franco Colombo. Yeah, I think we can wait for Robbie versus Lou. Arnold versus Franco sounds tantalizing. So look forward to that one. Hope you enjoyed this video, and of course, have a good day.